Oh, is this just a tour of heart attack grill? I've already seen this. Three customers suffer heart attacks after eating at the establishment and even celebrating a death on the premises. <laughs> it's aptly named the Heart Attack Grill. Remarkably, the owner says it's all done in the name of promoting good health. One among us has to tell the truth, and that's what we're doing here. The heart yeah, you're a real hero, giving people actual limits, heart attacks. Along with belt sizes. That'll Diners teach them. Must... Yeah, let's go! Their flatliner fries, cooked in lard, are unlimited. Thirsty? Try the all butterfat shake. That sounds so good. What the vodka. fuck? And new to this menu, a burger with eight patties, almost 20,000 calories. That's the equivalent of nearly 40 Big Macs. Oh, and if you don't finish your meal, you get spanked. What? Wait, she actually like really went in on She's that. She's not exactly a real RN, <laughs> but her spankings are real, real hard. Yeah, like she's not holding back. The restaurant. Dr. John has become something of a superstar in the fast food world. In Dr. His John, kind of suave. He depicts himself as Jesus Christ at the Last Supper, <laughs> dining with the industry's other giants. All right, Dr. John's is kind of fucking wacky. The restaurant was under fire after its nearly 600-pound spokesman, Blair Rivers, died of obesity-related issues. Uh, it's not confirmed. There's an argument he may have died of consuming very flavorful food. It was too much. Very morbidly using his death. So this man's death has not given you pause at all. Zero pause. You guys are actually rolling now. What the fuck? This guy's like Nintendo. If your player dies, do you feel bad? Nope. Sounds good, actually. Now, the one that I yes. couldn't save was a very dear friend of mine. And I want to tell you something. This they'll is his ashes grotesque. right here. They'll yes, say, how, they will. how can you keep the man's cremation here? Oh my god, wait, it is. Something. What the fuck? I am setting the bag on the table. And I challenge any Holy other shit. restaurant to set the bag. Let's on turn it into a burger. I'm talking about a bag of truth. This was a good man with hopes and dreams. Who could <laughs> and now look at him. Habits. This stupid Inside piece of shit. This bag are the He's sand. Yet another He's become story. sand. He ate at the restaurant every day. Oh, people that explains are actually it. Dying. People will continue to die. <laughs> Can they just stop, pause, and reflect what? upon the food for thought that I'm selling? It's not him. He's like it's actually Lex Luthor. It's not friendly. When there are lights and sirens outside and they're bringing some person out on a gurney, you're basically in the back. He's celebrating. Right yeah, he's having Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. <laughs> Was that heart attack good for business? Did that heart attack pad my wallet with money? Absolutely. This is the most honest guy Did ever. I enjoy that. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm a businessman. Oh, what the? What did they give this guy? Did they hit him with like a fucking truth serum? Is Wonder Woman there with her lasso around his leg? Why is he so honest? Hey, did you like when that guy died? Oh fuck yeah! Are you kidding me? I made money off that dude died at my restaurant. It's like, hey, holy shit! I'm not only making money, I'm killing idiots. I guess. Hey, fuck yeah! In fact, here's this dude's ashes. Stole them from his loved ones, and they're now in my restaurant. What are they gonna do? Fight me? Now, if they do die here, I'm not going to lie to you. That's great for business. I'll say it again. <laughs> Death is great for business at the Heart Attack Grill. Wow. Somehow in the He's like an anime villain. Met, Dr. John in order to save the world, I must kill it first. And from its ashes will rise a phoenix of grease and bacon. And on top of that phoenix, I will be riding it. Dr. John. I think his point's a little dog shit, though, if I'm being honest. Like, other places obviously sell shitty food, but he is going way out of his way to make the food as detrimental to your health as humanly possible. It's not like they're just being dishonest and saying it's good for you food. Like, they, you know, they're not like hiding that it's bad for you, but he is doing the most he can to kill you with it. So it's a little dishonest to compare the two. It's not like it's a matter of honesty or not. You're actively trying to make it worse for them. In a city near you. You're fine, son. Keep eating. I'm Ryan. Wasn't his point that he's not selling shitty th things to kids? Is this not a kid eating this? Didn't he make that exact point? Like, I'm not selling this awful death to kids. Only these consenting adults. And then in the same interview, there's a kid. Oh, without parental guidance. Oh, did he say that part? I didn't say that. I didn't see that. Or remember hearing that, rather. Why does it matter if they're... What? 
I don't really understand though. Why would that matter if they're supervised or not? It's the same food. That guy was that guy's nutty. That guy was actually fucking wild. Is there any more from Dr. John? Did he die of a heart attack at his own restaurant? I wonder what's in his will. Like, if he does die at that restaurant, what does he want? Like, make patties out of his corpse? Parade it around? Taxidermy it and hang it? I bet he's got a crazy plan for it. In 2013, John Aylman, known as the Heart Attack Grill's daily customer and unofficial mascot, died after suffering a heart attack and collapsing as he stood at the bus stop in front of the restaurant. He was the inspiration for the patient John character seen around the restaurant. In 2017, Man, Business Insider talked to John what? Basso about this disturbing patient. So the, not, oh my god, not only did he die at the restaurant because of all the fucking horrible food, and not only does Dr. John have his cremated ashes like it's seasoning for his patties, he also used him as a cartoon character to continue to promote it to other people? Oh, wow. That's fucking awful. Because if you stop and realize it, I put out a broader, far-reaching message about health and fitness than any other physician You absolutely in America, haven't, though. Period. His reasoning no one is thinks of heart attack grill and thinks of, I, I should eat healthy. All the work done by Nobody. The and changing really? All of you do? Customers. I can't tell if, if you're memeing or not. So his message of, I make this food that kills people, so it should teach people about not eating unhealthy, is somehow being conveyed to you? Because that's not what I get. If this guy... Like, it's a little different when he's going out of his way to make the food as deadly as possible, right? And is happy when people die from it. I don't think the message really gets across. It's more like he found a way to capitalize off the most gluttonous people in society and make a lot of money off it while also being able to take a bit of a high road, even though he literally has killed people from it. I wouldn't necessarily say the message gets delivered very well. That's like saying because McDonald's exists, it has taught me to eat healthy. I just don't think that really works. In 2013, he was on Bloomberg's In the Loop with Betty Lou to talk about his food when he pulled out a plastic bag of powder and put it on the desk. That's then he said, John's ashes. I'm here with the cremated yep. remains of someone who died at my restaurant. He died of a heart attack at my restaurant, and I'm putting the bag clearly on the table. I wish that Burger King, McDonald's, and everyone else would do the same thing. When a shocked <laughs> Lou pointed out how grim things had suddenly That's gotten, pretty bold. Basso agreed. As he put it, Absolutely, because the entire fast food industry is pretty grim. The former employee said that there were more repeat customers than one might expect, like locals who would frequently take advantage of the free meal offered to anyone weighing over 350 pounds. She also revealed some distressing That's another memories, thing. like the time offering when a male free food for the morbidly obese isn't delivering a message of you should eat healthier. It's doing the opposite. It's rewarding you for video it. Of the whole poor diet certainly does seem that it can contribute to risk over time, but uh, no one has it, yet shown that it has an immediate effect that can precipitate the heart attack. I don't Thus, know about that. I feel no like evidence that a one-time trip to the heart the attack grill there is going to cause are at a heart risk. attack. Every day and health, I think it can exacerbate. That sentiment in a 2011 poor diet certainly does seem that it can contribute to risk over time. But uh, no one has it, yet shown that it has an immediate effect that can precipitate the heart attack. I don't Thus, know about that. I feel no like evidence that a one-time trip to the heart the attack grill there is going to are cause at a heart risk. attack. Every day and health, I think it can exacerbate. That, a that was so much more interesting than I thought it would be. I've known about heart attack grill for quite a while. Uh, I actually remember back in like, must have been college. Uh, I was reading about Heart Attack Grill. Didn't know it was so deep, though. Wow. Fucking wild. Dr. John's a maniac. Is he still alive? In their defense, they haven't had a death in eight years. I don't know how many more heart attacks they've had in that time, but they have not had a death at Heart Attack Grill in about eight years. Yeah, apparently Tyler1 and Faker went to it. I must have missed that. I know they did content together. Was that what they did? They went to the Heart Attack Grill? We're here at the Heart Attack Grill. Yeah. Now, I don't know what to expect, but let's go! <laughs> Jesus, Tyler's like a real YouTuber. Look at him go! Okay, Is Dr. John here? Heart Attack Grill. This is our entire menu. You guys have to wear hospital gown. And if you guys don't finish eating, you get three spines. He's making goofy thumbnail faces okay. and everything. The wine comes to the table in an ID bag. How do you guys even stay open? That's pretty, uh, that's pretty cute. People? Not really, but we, we try. I'll tell you what caught my eye right away. This op. Tuple? The octuple bypass. Tuple, octuple. octuple. And then, 40 slices of bacon. then I'm trying to add. 
40 yeah. slices. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Any size? <laughs> and then I'm also trying to get this. What the fuck right is he doing? So it's actually made with almost a You gotta give me a false stick. I'll take a false stick. Yeah, I did a tier one yeah. wall board. Single ball, man. Single? Ah, uh, come on. You gotta get that. Dude, if you want the single, you can like take it off the top. Uh, <laughs> Dumb. Dumb. Okay. Hey, 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 peer pressure. Let's go. Baker going in now. Imagine if someone had a heart attack and died during this video. I have not. That's Just some stranger in the back. Yeah. Maybe do you think I can get one bite? And no. like Does he even finish a single patty? <laughs> I feel like one patty's already like 6k calories. My heart! Somebody help me! This is, it's, it's honestly pretty good. Listen. This is so wholesome. I'm saving It's like an episode of Spongebob. It's time for your surgery. Like Spongebob and Squidward go to the heart attack grill. Listen, don't do it too hard. Oh, it's gonna be hard. How many? Three. I mean, can you at least make it fast? Like, bop, bop, bop. Probably not. Hands up. Feet together. It's gonna break um, the paddle on his ass. You're gonna be so assertive, man. All right, here is one. Okay. Holy shit, she cranked that. That windup was nuts. She's getting like a happy Gilmore running start. She hates him. I actually bet that would hurt like a bitch. But I'm glad I could do it with you, Faker. Me too. That was so fucking wholesome.